What's up guys, Jester here, gonna be going over Sector 3, Mission 7, PHP Root Include. Hacker, this PHP based login script isn't posting the info from nowhere. Find out where and get me the login information. What we're supposed to be doing for this one is we're supposed to trace back to where the information is being posted from. So it's gonna probably be a file in some kind of directory. So if we go in here and we open up the source, we'll start tracing back by web crawling to where the form is. And so we'll go to the login form, see where the source is, copy this and put it into our browser. And we get that it's coming from the includes. So let's just start web crawling here, see if we can get it to the images. There aren't any. See if we can get into cascading style sheet. One less, one less S. Don't have any. See if we can get into um, JavaScript. And that just brings us to a JavaScript tutorial. So if we can't get in there, let's actually just try getting into the login directory. Well, there it is. So we got all these different files. This one looks like it's a log for December. This one looks like it's a log for November. Here is the login core.include.php. This is just another form that does nothing. It's just the layout. So there's nothing there. If we go here, this is our script that we were actually looking at on the main page. If we go here, this is just the same thing the exact same thing, but this might actually give us information. No, not really. So this one's just another template, but what happens if we go in the database? We do see we have a log here. It just says failed, failed, failed. And we have an accounts.txt. So here we have an administrator with this. Now this could be the password. We should technically try it but it's not going to work. See, because the password has actually been encrypted. So we need to find a way to decrypt this. And that's actually what I'm going to be going over today. This is actually an MD5 hash encryption. So we go over to Kane here, and we, load, we could load it in just by going right-clicking, add to list, and putting it in. But I'm not going to crack that password for you guys. What I actually have is I have my own name as the password. As you can see, it unlocks it. So I'm just going to remove that, and we are going to try different methods. The first method that I'm going to be going over is dictionary attack. What this does is it takes a word list, whichever kind of word list you have, and it checks every single one of those to see if it could work. We're going to go ahead and try that one. And this one is it's decent. It has. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. It's just about basically in the middle. The problem with it is it might not find it if it's not in your word list. So this one actually was. So that's good. And uh, well, I'm gonna reset my position. And I'm gonna clear the password. And I'm gonna go over brute force. Oops. Now brute force is actually going to try different permutations from like this A, B, C, D all the way through 0 through 9. It's going to try different permutations of that depending on how big you want it. And so this one, if we just do it this big, is going to take years. Years. Exponential years. So this one does not, is not for for cracking all stuff unless you have basic stuff like if we do um, let's just do all the vowels A I O U and we'll go with R S T and we will just throw a J in there. This one, look at how many how many different keys there are. So we'll go ahead and try that one. That one was still really quick. But that's because we only had we narrowed it down. So it will find it if you have it narrowed down, but other than that. And the other one I actually can't go over to. I spent past 10 hours generating 
a table, but it's not finding it in there. I'm not sure why. Um, but I generated this table, and this one's actually quicker. It takes a while to set up, but other than that, you can run it as many times as you want, and it will be really quick. Like, the average is like a second. So we start it, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, and it didn't find it in there, which I'm not even sure why. So that's just an overview of that. And this one is MD5, so you can use Kane Enable. That's the program I generally support under Cracker MD5 hashers. And the other thing you can do is just get an online one. Um, I actually found a really good one. I don't remember if it's Yellow Tube though. We'll just go MD5 online to crypt online. Let me see what we can get. Yeah, this one's pretty good too. This one was the one I was using before. So if we take this one and we will I'm just gonna generate mine again. So there's a actual hash generator in Kenable. It's this little calculator button right there. Type in gesture, push calculate, take the MD5, and we will go over here, cut and this one just requires a capture image to be encrypted and up oh, and it has it so that one's a good one that you might be able to try and then when we go back in here and try that password it actually should work yep so good luck guys i hope this helps